a casual 35 seconds late. Just a casual, fortunately. But we're here. Fortunately, they waited for and us. And you didn't miss anything. The players, they, we, we could have been they halfway, waited for you. We could have been halfway into the second round of play if they rushed something. Oh, we could have. The pistol round could have been over. <laughs> okay, 1x bet odds favouring Na'Vi here. Who would have thunk it? And, and really, thank your lucky stars that they're playing slow, because here's the action. Oh. Yeah, Boomich set up with his dualies for a single frag. He had a lot of equipment there that's gone a bit short of the mark. And the unarmored Perfecto got a lot to contend with as the EG boys do commit. A pistol win would be great. Gap in the smoke highlighted by our OBS team, but it's not going to come back to haunt anyone just yet. And I think the desk, you know, they're hitting the important points. We'll see if Bit's got anything left. He's already backing away from this one. <laughs> Save. All right. Well, he has a look. It's a little bit of damage right there, and he won't be able to buy head armor for cheap next round. So, all in all, uh, things didn't go great for Na'Vi on that pistol. But we're in, everybody. We're in. And Na'Vi's loss yesterday mm. to the big clan boys, and Yanko bringing it up over on the desk as well, was, as he put it down to anti-strat and uh, a team truly having your number in that res respect. They put you your entire game under the microscope and just made you look silly. Yeah, help when Tabson was just... Deagle headshot in every yeah. round too, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. I don't know who from EG can deliver in that capacity, but there's grounds now. There's grounds for the Na'Vi tailspin. That's all I'm saying. You know, they've already had a little bit of a trip. Okay. They've had a stumble. They are... The inertia is against the them. The inertia's there. The tilt, you know... I would Gravity say, We're not now. 45 degrees, but a little 10 degree tilt. All right. It's just starting the tilt. I, I, w I wanted to paint it from the other way. Like, Yanko's saying that maybe like, they weren't complacent yesterday. I think that... Right, they definitely got rattled by that yeah. Mirage performance of Big, but it's a good loss to suffer, right? It's a loss to suffer before you get to the playoffs and then maybe somebody does it. So now you get this game, you get the next game to just course correct, get the two victories. Maybe you don't top the group anymore, depending on how Big's games go, but you're still going to be through to those playoffs and you've been kept on your toes, right? If it was too easy, yeah. well, then we may have some bigger problems for Na'Vi down the line. But they force bought here and grenades back and forth have done some chunks of damage either way. You know, yet to see more than a map out of EG, at least in a successful capacity. But so far, the only map they're boasting is the win on Inferno, admittedly, up against FaZe Clan. Which was actually pretty decent. I think Daps was fragging well in that game. Very Just well. like this, a nice little headshot on the simple. Yeah, he no was delivering for sure. Oof. And Breeze had that beautiful pistol ace if you caught it he as did well. Too. That was, I mean, I feel like him and USP Inferno plays. <laughs> I've seen a couple of them. Match made in heaven. Yeah. The fact that Electronics gotten two and gotten away here, this does become problems because look, EG are only working with one smoke, so they need to find the heads. And there's the first. Three more now. Yeah, and two on this A site in particular. They've got no nades, dude. It's going to be bullets and positioning that will determine the winner of this one. What are you smoking off there a bit? He drops it on towards library side. Electronic so low if suck. Oh, gets caught out, Electronic. Oh. He gets so much out of that HP. May not necessarily in the grand scheme cost him much, but three frags out of that. And Perfecto upgrading to Boomich's Deagle to try his hand at the A site. Here's the thing, right? More damage is great. There is a kit on the site, though, so maybe... Never mind. Don't worry about it. I'm not even going to start. No. He's gone. He's out of here. He's going to the B-bomb site. He's going to hold on to his deagle. Okay. Well, something that could have had a bit of spice and given us something very nice is just going to be the second round for EG. Now, if I'm going to prophesize what might be coming their way, the flash saved on Perfecto here can enable just some USPs to pound. He can do that top mid. He can do a top banana with an antenna flash. There's a couple of different ways that they can operate with that but it should be a conservative one for Na'Vi here going into round number three. And this was really good from Electronic. You know, he's done a lot, just needed a contribution from somebody else, right? He's even going to get another kill here to uh, help him soften up the anti-eco of EG. Jump scare there was simple, it felt like. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Almost every game for me, though. But <laughs> that's more about my game sense than anything else, I think. Let's get it going. It's just the AKs, as you forementioned. The single HE, perhaps, from Boomich could make the USPs a little more deadly. And they're rushing down mid, so let's hope Zerk is ready for this. I think ready as you'll ever be. Dinks and damage and nade kills, yep. But the round's still done and dusted and perfecto. We've seen you here before, so... 
This I mean, time, you may as well try and shoot a baddie. Maybe now is a good time to talk about how proficient he has been in clutches. It's great. He was fantastic yesterday. That one on three that he won was uh, really quite silent. But it, it was on the scoreboard. It was a simple and perfecto show. Oh, dear. What a horrible way to go down. Ooh, he takes stabs with him. That's nice. You're coming with me. Okay, Simple can get his AWP. He's even going to get dropped by Electronic. Guns balanced across here. The books have been managed. The red pen hasn't needed to come on out. Even head armor for three members of Na'Vi in a round like this. Diffuse right. kit in play, and everything is looking honky-dory. Let's see what you've got in store for us then. First, Gunny out of Na'Vi, and I want to see if there's going to be any Aggie orping, because Simple is going to be taking the mid-fight. At least jumping across, getting some information. That flash is a perfect deterrent, and he has swallowed it. Aggression onto Banana, and Daps can't really handle it. Boomer just stood there. It was too easy, and Oboe's been asked a lot of. Already smoked out on the half wall. So this battle for Banana is going to be very interesting to see how EG handle it, how they fare. Um, modern day Counter-Strike, it's a whole meta within itself. And they use a lot of their util just to get the already given for free top Banana. If they execute here, they're going to get a two on four, right? The closest rotation is simple, and uh, he's over towards that arch side. So Smoke's coming in towards front site right now. You're about to see that land in the face of Perfecto. He's even going to stop it with his model. A smoke in exchange from him, and it does have quite the large gap here on the right-hand side. We're flirting with some spam. Just to let him know, yeah, we are top banana. So complete mid control right now. But again, simple is the rotator. So if they were just to execute right here, they can isolate some fights. He's on his way. Simple. As more nades arrive on B, he suggests and understands that's the oh, likely outcome. What happened to Mihu there? He's just walked through the flames and gone down. Ovo does slip the net of the boosted hole. And the smokes are up. It should enable a plant. I think Breeze has got that down uncontested. And it's a 4v3 for the retake. Breeze, that's a big frag to find. If you could just knock Simple on his bottom, you'd have a shot at this. But Simple does go down, leaving us in that 2v2. This now favors EG here. Bit's going to have to hit a real scorching first headshot. And he has. Cirque has to play time here. Tucks in. He hears them both advance into the site. He's isolated the duel perfectly. Repositions. He's hunted a bit wide. A little wide. And the defuse can come in. I felt like that was sucks all day of the week. Why is he re-aggressing? I uh, didn't want to get pinned to that corner, I suppose. Uh, unawares that the kit was a little bit further away and Bit was going to have to play in the time. Flustered in the moment. The round will go to Na'Vi, but it felt good for EG. Breeze did a lot there from that Coffin's position. Oh, yeah, very, very close margin. It is going to leave CTs wanting for some cash. A couple of people on that 3.8. There will be light and maybe a couple of fam eye in the mix. So this is the burn. You can see, look, just spreading everywhere he went. Me who just <laughs> couldn't find a safe haven. An odd death. And for a round that comes down to a 1v1, a costly one. This is the extra engagement. Like, Bit got exactly what he was looking for there, going for the hunt on that banana fight. Maybe the smoke on the bomb as well is one of the things which made it a bit more awkward. But right now, both teams have an SMG in play for their second gun round. Both teams have the AWP out. So Cirque versus Simple. Might not be the head-to-head, -head, but whoever finds an opening here could be the difference maker. Simple's over towards apartment. Cirque waiting for those mid-smokes to subside. While Breeze and Daps work on some territory here. Now, Simple's AWP, it will need to be ready. Breeze has definitely found a bit of form here in Pro League. Good to have him back. Very okay. good to have him back. That's another Simple frag. He's killed Simple two rounds in a row, and if Breeze can keep that up, Na'Vi are going to look a little hamstrung. Curious little repick there from Simple. Think he could get the timing on the flash. Instead, he's given up a number disadvantage right here, right now, and Na'Vi is scrambling. All five members from EG could press on towards this A site. Yeah, so Boomish tucks in. A gamble of sorts. And with Util now deployed, that's just the lurky smoke from Breeze's apps. If they give him, oh, they might walk straight into the Daps post up here. Oh, Daps does well onto Boomich. Pit's still a threat, but the walkout from Breeze has been met. Bit They're rapping. Delivers another electronics and nuisance as well, looking like they can pull this apart. Nice dismantle of the EG wrap. And Cirque has to call it quits. They got two orbs in play. What are they supposed to do with that? Ugh. One library, one slinking onto the site. Bit still in pit. 
very hard to break. And with just 10 seconds left, boys, you're looking a little indecisive. I think they're just going to call it quits. The double hop T-side save. Okay. Well, think Good of some, something to work with in the next round of play. But this is another one that almost fell apart for Na'Vi, right? That opening that Simple gives away in apartments. I think they're trying to get the timing on the flash, right? And then once he re -peaks back in, Breeze is more than ready for him, cracks his skull. Man. Nice shot there. This was good from Daps. It's just unfortunate that Electronic completely stops them, right? This double kill here from Electronic is more than enough to slow the wrap into the A site. Gets it done with the Famous as well. <laughs> Even has, takes the time to check his short push. She just has all the time in the world. You're operating under Electronic's schedule and not the other way around. Well, these double orbs on the T side, you don't see this ever. Uh, so let's see. Daps and Cirque. Ah, uh, yes. The classic orping duo. He takes a very quick pot shot into the jiggle of Simple, posting up and contesting for mid early. He will be smoked off. Paranoid about the apps walk out as well. There's two reasons that's not a bad smoke against orbs uh, and the pistols, right? A, a waterfall out or the orb posting up to watch that rotation from long into the site, but they're still coming through regardless. So but you're going to be on notice here. You and Electronic better batten down the hatches. All it takes is one eaten up flashbang. He just plays the headshot angle well. And Bit can't believe it's luck. He gets another uncontested frag, and this one falls apart for the evil geniuses. Do you save two orbs again? I don't know. I, I think they like have to go. I'd want to, like, try it. Dip your toe in, have a little look to see what you can find. But this is a hard one to break. I mean, Bit and Electronic, that, I don't fancy your chances in that crossfire. And look how little Simple's giving. He knows what you've got. He knows what weapon you're equipped with. Is, do you both save again? I, mean, I don't know what you do. Listen to him, firing off shots. Suck. Oh, he did very well to get back around the corner. And yeah, just enough rope to hang themselves. It is three to three. And Na'Vi returning to the power getting themselves to make A47s, picking themselves up a little con three consecutive. They're in the driving seat now. Yeah, call this one four because everybody had to invest, right? When you save those orbs, you don't get the loss bonus, so everybody else had to invest as well so just to level out that cash, give it an even playing field going forward. Next round, looking at 2,900 as the loss bonus. So they will be able to purchase. Shouldn't be any dramas whatsoever. But yeah, just an, an odd place for Ichi to find themselves early. Double orb, T-side save. Great little nade right there. So standing on that one. Yeah, and had Bit just gone a little deeper with his, that could have been the end of him. Now this one, if EG run down the clock, you all know the drill at this point. Bait out that util, force the CTs to keep it costly. Don't allow them just to hold on to all their goodies. Make them share. Another big chunk of utility damage this time onto the tender nose of Breeze. And all five of them reside in Banana right now, and all five of them will conga line all the way back on down towards T-Stairs. So, yeah, look. Rocking a hard place right now, isn't it? You go towards B, you're knocking on Boomich and Perfecto's door. Up middle, well, simple, might get to farm you. And another incredibly well-timed nade. It's actually forced the entire EG squad ahead. Oh, he doesn't know this, though. No, he doesn't. He has no he, idea. He rotated off at the same time. So uh, that, this is like the only gap. Looking. The only gap. He's Simple not looking. With a lot to do, and now they're <laughs> fighting off guard. Would you believe it? They, he's not going to believe it. They found the gap. They found it. And I'd love to have found Electronic with that shot, but no, unfortunately, he lives on. And now the bit in Electronic Crossfire is a very tough cookie to crack. Stop. Crumbling a little bit now. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could say that. Uh, that is the oddest of timings that I think I've ever seen exploited before. And the fact that Simple's ditched it and just dumped, right? He's just, I'm out of here. I'm going to be. I think I'm going to be here. Yeah. yeah, look, doing my job. The fact that they've been able to find that gap, he's going to be so puzzled. Yeah. Like, he will not know that they were literally standing in his Molotov until he goes back and watches the damage. Like, what? What? It's crazy, they ran through my molly. It's good of EG to be threatening, but Na'Vi now four consecutive rounds on the defense. And don't forget how many consecutive series they'd collected prior to their loss to uh, Big. These guys are undisputed world number one, defending champions, of course, of the most recent LAN event as well. 
and here for Pro League for the collection of the Intel Grand Slam. If they pick up the win here, they would be joining a rather exclusive club of those with an Intel Grand Slam and an extra million dollars. Me, who goes one for one on the fight for Banana. Bit previously the A defender now navigates over to B and is effective there as well. Yeah, and that's a key piece of information that you just pointed out for EG to work with. Bits over towards B right now. So do we think that they're still in a 2-2? What type of a setup? An RV rocking right here, right now. Well, Breeze back in towards his apartments. Gonna knock on Electronics door this time round. Lurk smoke dropped. Bits on that long rotation around the world. Back over to Bolster and lock down the A site. Simple being thrown on in as the lone defender of B as Perfecto. He's going to get a move on as well. So just rejigging their CT setup here, Na'Vi, into something a little bit more optimal. And for a B hit of EG right now, they have two smokes. One for Coffins, one for CT. They've got a flash and a molly. So they can make this execute work. Simple if he gets flustered here. There could be a plant. Perfect. Anti-flash for the first. Strikes onto Breeze, the highest fragger from EG. So he's taken down the prize pig. They are in the sight, though. And if Dabs does go for this rather open plan, he could get sprayed. I can't believe they've gotten away with that. Boost compulsory, surely. No oboe ops for Emo. Okay. Cirque with a lot to do as well. They're coming in from Coffin side. These two on the site, I don't think are a guarantee. So Cirque does have to find a way to find impact and contribute. He's found the edge of the smoke, and that's effective for a little bit. Oboe again onto Perfecto, but he's gone now. This is the angle. That was the chance, and that's the end of EG's chances as well. A late retake, Na'Vi will make it five in a row. Okay, we're recovering another situation that could have gotten out of hand. So they're allowing EG to at least set up shop. And then they come in and they tear it all down. But this is looking good now for Na'Vi, being able to get rid of a few of those wobbles. Talking of setting up shop, you ever done, done like a car boot sale? Uh, like, I don't know no, if it's a, I a British exclusive. It was kind of, I don't know, sub culturally, it was something that was totally normal. You just, yeah, me and my family were going to go and sell our junk and with field, everybody else's family somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my mum used to do it in like the Karen Up car park. Yeah, and there was always the anoraks that would come and like rifle through your toys for some weird rare figure that they can sell for hundreds of thousands. And lots of uh, bartering in those type environments. It's yeah. probably the only time you really get to do that. <laughs> I remember it fondly. I think I'll bring back the uh, car boot sale when I have a family of my own. Okay. Yeah, we'll start packing our junk in... The in, trunk. In our trunk. Yeah. Well, this time they've at least not dumped all their util. They've allowed Na'Vi to... Oh, that's another smoke. Hey, on smoke watch, Chad, there's only two left on the Na'Vi camp at the 72nd mark, and they are chopping and changing a little bit, so Simple will be heading over to back up Perfecto, who is still equipped and attuned for a smoke on the B defense. It does look like they are going back towards Banana, right? And Simple's going to set up here with the AWP. How aggressive does he go? Well, that's anybody's question. That Molly should answer it quite swiftly here, so he can actually just play around that, and if he is Simple, which I do believe he is. I yeah, have checked. You did. He might even get a little bit more cocky and go for some info here. So back and forth over towards A one more time. Still no full committal from EG. We don't know exactly where they're going to end right here. That bomb is on Oboe. Could teeter between both bomb sites. I just do not envy anyone trying to execute into this bit electronic A defense. Admittedly, the two missing players and Na'Vi's lost yesterday, but these boys are 90% of the time an absolutely impossible set of torrents to break through, and they're giving it a go. Still, though, stubborn in their defense. Cirque's the one to wrestle for control, and he will get that bomb down. This is the best chance we've seen in a while for EG. These late retakes from Na'Vi so far have favored them. An AWP and an M4 walk into a site. We'll find out if it's a joke. Breeze is the one they have to clear. He's in the power position right now. This is the kill. They get Breeze, then they can isolate Cirque. Time's starting to become a problem. Halfway ticked. Yeah, and time is totally on their side. The flash is from Simple. Rebound off, and Breeze takes shape. Oh, the smoke does obscure the view. Cirque getting a bit flustered one-on-one. -on -one. Perfecto, Mr. Clutch Master. This time denied by Breeze. And he'll snatch away the orb, but he'll snatch, more importantly, away an EG response. We haven't seen them post a T-round since that 3-0 conversion.
And it's Breezy that pulls it across the line. Lovely stuff there. So EG, they're staying threatening, right? When they're given opportunities, they're definitely taking them. We've seen them set up in a couple of post-plant situations. This time round, well, able to trade very efficiently onto the site, into the heavy A stack. <laughs> Their buy doesn't really reflect that, does it? Oboe and Daps into MAC-10s, charging up Banana here. This could be interesting. Let's see how Na'Vi react to early Banana control. Poor Oboe. I think they call that booked. Standing in the open, doing the flashbang dance, just touching A and D, hoping you, you're alive when your vision restores. He was not. Ooh, Bimich is getting a bit thirsty for this one, isn't he? Great nade. He's out. They have to clear him. Oh, wow. They will. Yeah, that's a big find. Didn't need to molly it out. I guess you just send me who was the secondary to clear. Ooh, Breeze. Breeze, what an opportunity. And again onto Simple. He is smashing this head to head. And he's taking the Na'Vi star out of the equation of a crucial juncture. They're so low. Mm. I'm not sure who I'd argue has the advantage here if. That is an if they head towards the stacked site. A is about to be reinforced. Bits heading over there now, fully healthy and ready for action. It seems, however, that the pendulum swings in favor of EG. Oh, this is the gamble stack meta, right? And RV have opted to go for A. So Breeze is going to walk on in here, just continuing to keep up presence. Doesn't need to find a kill. And well, just by positioning alone, EG should be getting their fifth round to be able to tie this up. Smokes and flashes come over, but that's a formality. They're in. It's free. They'll get that bomb down and Na'Vi have to save. Lovely. Yes. Easy, easy, easy. Look at this. Go. They're definitely in this one, right? First half, T side, five rounds so far. Looking good. I want to quickly have a little bit of a look at Breeze's stats and uh, reflect because in recent memory, he was uh, a non-issue, right? He, he, he kind of went missing for a little while. And uh, I think so far within the pro league, he's he's doing quite well, all okay. things considered. Yeah. We know that we know that it's not going to be the easiest of times. With, in case you missed it, Daps standing in, right? He's the coach of EG now, and Stan has taken a, a little bit more time off. I would argue that he's probably the the most uh, effective of the coach stand-ins you're going to get. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like this, is, we can't, we can't. If you're a newer viewer, don't put this in the same category as like Zonic putting himself in the mouse and keyboard again. Sure. This is a different kettle of fish. Daps, very recently a competitive player, whether it's CSGO or of course more recently, Valorant. So he's been putting the crosser on the head professionally for some time, has Daps. This is not a new land for him. And Breeze, that was another great pickup as well. I think he's almost the reason that B bomb site ended up being unguarded. So mm. big work from him again. And here we go, 5-5, five, five. EG keeping it competitive. And if they were to convert this one, Boomich in his signature MP9. Let's see if he runs it down mid in his similar capacity. What's happening there? Okay. Lots of exchanges, both favoring EG here. Chances dwindle. Simple again goes down to Breeze. Was he blind blinded there? Yeah, I think he very much was. Okay, well, that was a very curious mid peek out from, from, uh, from Na'Vi. I, I was looking at the stats, I looked up, and I just see them seemingly dry, so, just yeah, Oboe, riding their way into middle. I heard Oboe's silencer engaging first, so I think he was that was his banana fight. And as that contact was taken, the rest went down mid, bit peeking in. Daps wins the duel, and the rest is history. You saw Breeze onto Simple as your final frag of the piece. That was it. This was definitely something where they wanted to, were hoping they could isolate one or two kills like in limbo in middle. But you can see the X's at the top of mid. They, they both swung and they both got destroyed and then simple desperate, right? Because at that point, if you're the apartments player or the pit player, your biggest fear is that they completely swarm and take full A control and then they just press you in from everywhere. Apartments, short. So I guess he was trying to make a play in, in, in the chaos of it all, but... EG have actually set themselves up in a really good position now to stand on the barrel of seven or eight rounds on this T half. So rattling Na'Vi here, I think, still feeling yesterday's game. And there it is. So That's Oboe it. just turns around and yeah. they're just biffing mid. So I, I guess that was by design that Na'Vi wanted to take those fights. And here's a flash simple. It, not often you see simple r rocking with an MP9, do you? So, no. all right, you can see just how much of a difficult spot Na'Vi are finding themselves in here. Now... If anyone of our pairing, Chad, likes to jump to conclusions and uh, over-dramatize, it is me. Okay, all but right. I, I don't want to get too excited, but I also...
can't help but feel that Na'Vi, if you add together the Counter-Strike they played yesterday, then all of the conversations they've had in response to that, with a first half like this out of EG, there is definitely grounds for a competitive series here. And Na'Vi, don't forget, have been having their fair share of woes when it comes to the close. Now, EG, to be fair, have been having one half games. Everyone, I think, I, I was listening to the, or reading the conversation on Reddit, and all the EG fans just frustrated that they get the first half out of EG. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, we've got a competitive team after all. And then it does tend to be a bit of a missing second. They haven't quite got all the pieces of the puzzle in place. Yeah, I've just went and had a little bit of a look at the stats here for Breeze. I don't want us to miss any of the action, so keep our eyes firmly trained on if this one kicks off in a second. But Breeze's stats so far, within EPL for this season. He is sitting at, where did it go? We've just misplaced it, 0 0.98. So I think the highlights, I may have been blinded by them because Oboe is actually the best performer for EG so far. Okay. Oh, we heard him. He knows where you are, Boomich. And walking straight into the trap is Dabs, just walking in, oh. face check, does get one. And Electronics Angle has caught the Breeze walkout as well. Oh dear, someone didn't finish his meal. Obo will eventually pull it across the line. Bits now gone. Wrapping into A. You saw Boomich is on a fast flank and with 10 seconds left. Yeah, it can be denied. Electronic oh, from the Lord. pit. It's getting really messy. Someone needs to be planting, Suck. Ooh, just gets it down. Electronic in the pit, multiple targets. One short as well. And Na'Vi do it with bare bones, everything. Just a CZ for Electronic. Pistol frags in the feed. And EG, they do trip over on their execution of A. <sighs> 10 seconds left as they're coming up short, wrapping into the site. Stalled out by Na'Vi, and you feel that's probably around that EG should be converting. Oh, a mess and a half right there. And a couple huh. of flubbed moments. Tracy Simple with the snapping turtle, just not able to get his kill finished. Obo eventually gets his frag. But this is the point in like they're wrapping around Archside with 10 seconds left. Perfecto, he's just sitting back, hanging out, letting Electronic chip away with that damage. So not a great one to lose. Yeah, it's going to leave a mark, that's for sure. And it puts Na'Vi back into a nice and even <laughs> Luckily, keel. Luckily, but they can salvage it now. Exactly what they needed. Oh, that's going to spur oh, them Mihu, forward. Not again. Oh, twice. He's just been cooked by the Na'Vi. It's banana utility. Well, it's starting to become rather textbook. We start to see the EG Breeze apps lurk. Drops some util, tries to force a rotate. They're actually returning to his domain as he calls upon a clear. He's trying to find beat simple in the 1v1 again. Yeah, this time wise to his tricks. 3v5 for EG to overcome. Doesn't sound easy. Certainly not with simple posted up on your short peak. Well, they're rescinding quickly back down middle here and. I don't know what seems like the easier sight, at least over towards B, they do get a two on three. Bits the swing man from library here. Yeah. Boomich and Perfecto have to batten down the hatches. But at 30 seconds, dude, with the util that Perfecto has, he can just deny this. And he will. Drops the can of flames, so 30 seconds. Bits still not rotating. Still got a smoke. They're gonna be off. They're gonna have like 10 seconds if they don't walk through it. They have to. They have to go now, and all their bags are turned. Boomich. Strikes for one, the bomb now loose. Chaos causes it, Cirque with some quick reactions that might say play on. Might. He has to plant. It's uncomfortable. It's too oh, much discomfort. Wow. A great catch from Bit just to win the round right there. Oh, Cirque did so much. He did so much to even make that one possible, and he's running out of places to plant. The only, well, safe-ish position he could find, and Bit says, no, no, no. That is seven now for Na'Vi, but... That got interesting. It didn't feel like it should. You're pointing out the util, just how many luxuries are afforded to this Navi B defense. And this second one here, Perfecto starts getting tickled by the flames. So he's flustered. So it gets one through the wall and then Bit shows him how it's done. Headshot, of course. Oh, yeah, just for good measure. Oof, okay, well, Navi are bailing themselves out of situations right now. Yeah, and of course it's Bit and Electronic that are having a good game today. Absent the other three. 
Easy peasy, Sirks down. Oh, he wants a re-peak. He wants more, and just as we call upon him, Simple does deliver with the double. Breezes through the gap, you know, he's into pit. Oh, good point. And that means Daps will know that it's room to maneuver. The entire squad's gone, though. Um, Simple just skeet shooting at this point. And Breeze and Daps have put themselves on the peak. Oh. Simple's walk up cancelled. That's the shot out of Daps looking sharp on the Vandal. Oh, hold up a second, Alex. Look where the bomb is. Wait. Oh. There wasn't yeah. more. It felt like there could have been. Boom, it just got it. And that's the end of that. We'll make it eight. Na'Vi running towards the end of this one comfortably. That's three in a row, and they can call it nine if they find that fourth. Finances for EG are bleak. It's taken some time, though, before it feels like these gunnies have completely faded away. Because yeah. that moment we were getting a little bit, or at least I was, a little bit, oh, okay, double saving orbs, right, on the T side. And then that feels like a, a conversation from a lifetime ago, because they've been in this now. EG have been competitive. Yeah, I mean, call it, if you could muster an 8-7, that is ridiculously strong for a EG pick against Na'Vi. Admittedly, the second halves have fallen away from EG. But, but CT Inferno, everyone's got a voice in that one. Simple miss. Boomich doesn't. Again, Mihu in opening death. He's been having a tough time on this first half. Oof, captures bit there for Boomich. And that actually just spurs EG forward. They only have enough nades to go for this single hit. So if they get denied here, they won't have any utility to work with. They have to get in on this take. Oh, and his cross set could not have been placed any better. Eliminates Obo on the elevated sandbags. They're starting to commit. Daps has again delivered something to make it competitive. The smoke from Perfecto gives him a powerful angle to eliminate Daps. Oh, and Perfecto does deliver enough to make this round just a formality. Bomb to be planted. Cirque's double should enable the plant at the very least. He's actually opted to fake it out, which does give some more time for Electronic to head on over. Sark looking for the clutch. Bits crawled all the way through. And actually, Electronic oh. second guessing himself. That's given him the 1v1 he's dreaming of. Will he go for a coffin's clear? Yo, he's going into the ruins and Bit's going to be as deep as he possibly could. Sark may not check it. How wide will you check? Bit's ready for you. But all you need to know is wins are good. Wins are very good. Losses are bad. Very bad, especially if you're EG. You lose this one, then you don't have any chances. Now, it was like 12 out of 4,000 and something chances, I, yeah. I, I think. Like, I did catch the Doctor Strange reference from Kaplan as well. I think that's very appropriate for what Mihal Slavinsky has to do during the round, Robin. Crunch the numbers here. One expert have done the same. Navi are the favorites. Who would have thunk it? Yeah, nice you said little it. nade trap combo. Oboe's been the highest performer for EG. Let's see if that performance carries over into his pistol here. And it's a crucial one as well. If you want to maintain control, don't forget EG already one, zero, one pistol up. If they get both of them, that's all of the extra legs up you could have desired up against Na'Vi as an underdog. Yeah, I think right now Na'Vi on this pistol round, if we just hone on in in this 4v5, are kind of screwed because Breeze is still in a very forward position of boiler. And Cirque is still caretaking from that arch side. So Mihu could rotate over towards B now. No dramas, and maybe he will. That Bit's presence has been noted. Chipped away out. Here they come. Oh, yeah. Daps, here's a lot going on here. And Boomich gets to the pool position, as does Electronic with that bomb. They're maneuvering nicely into the side without much contact. And Boomich already slipped through. A couple of misses from Oboe has cost them some ground. It's Mihu's USP that will deter. Solid pair of frags. Finishes off with the third as well onto Bit. And that will be the seventh. So, 100% success rate in the pistols. 100% success rate in the conversions so far. Let's see if they can keep that up. Yeah, this would be nice here from EG, right? This is not going to be an easy half by any means, but to be fair, Na'Vi haven't looked crisp today, right? It, it hasn't been just a, an absolute destruction out of Na'Vi just yet. They still have plenty of time in this series to change that conversation. Yeah, Mihu on your screens and Mihu in the kill feed. We were just talking about his sensitivity. One of the lowest in professional play. I just love how cocky and forward Breeze and uh, Daps are being right now. They are up against just some upgraded pistols. A Deagle for Simple, a P250 for Electronic. The rest are on Glock, so that's telling you that next round, Navi will be purchasing. But when you play forward like that, you risk going down and giving some weapons over. So they've played forward. Now they're playing a bit more passive here and still wanting to retain this mid-controller. Boost for Daps could be lovely. 
No committal just yet from Na'Vi. Oh. Obi. Obi? Obi. Yo, Obi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi Trice. How old do you think Obo... Well, Obo wasn't born when Star Wars came out. Bro so. name, no gimmicks. Whoa, 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 whoa. We all... Hold up. Simple's Deagle. Getting something done. I was about to say, we also weren't born when Star Wars first came out. AK-47s. They're a weapon. They are a weapon. And they cost around $2,700. On the black market of Counter-Strike. in the black market that is Counter-Strike. The price never changes. Yeah, you'd think uh, that, that it would be affected by supply and demand. How do they keep getting all the AKs? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I think the US sells them to... <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously not. Obviously not. Well, Cirque, it's a tidy little run boost. But it doesn't get you a lot here because Na'Vi... They're more than willing to give up this banana control early. Now, flash through. Perfecto looking for space. Going to emerge through the smoke like a bit of a monster. Yo, you've got to be brave if you want to stick around. And Obo does. They try and return fire. Obo just takes them down, beams them down. And it all on rests on Perfecto. With still 70 seconds left, that is a dream for EG in this full conversion. This was a full investment out of Na'Vi. And they'll have got six of their rounds in the opening three of each half. Yeah, this is uh, EG making a competitive conversation here at least. After they get this one, which they will. Perfecto running all the way back into Daps now. Just going to grab the bomb. We'll need to be extremely careful on this clear. The MP9 has found deadly range and Perfecto. He hasn't walked over the magic line just yet. Back towards B, and that's where Cirque's AWP resides. Cirque. Finishes the job. I think Electronic thought he did a whole lot more to him as well, asking for the HP in chat, still had 84 to play with, so definitely a little hard done by, I guess, in Electronic's book. This is actually the shot that were thrown his way. Nothing to report from Electronic. Yeah, cancel that move, and uh, now maybe cancel Na'Vi getting around for at least one more of play. This is just the pistol upgrade again. It just you, you suck. sucks to hate start the half this way, right? Like, you know, you lose the first gun round, you're back down to pistols again. They haven't really been all that threatening, so... Can they get some mojo flowing here? 9-9, nine, nine, the score reads. Cirque. Liberal across mid with the movement there. He's not concerned, and nor is Breeze. In the early stage of that first half, he was pipping simple at every post. It wasn't even close in terms of openings in head-to-head -head fights. Yeah, he went 6-1, and one, I think. Yeah, Peter said within the first 10 rounds. So that's uh, some early... Early Biffin and Boshin. But they've been able to get themselves some window control. They have some light util. And they'd love to collapse down on this short hold, wouldn't they? Yeah, it would actually work out wonderfully. I mean, he'd have to somehow bait the shot. Simple. Let's see how well he does so. It's electronic that draws the fire. And a bit of chaos on that banana hold from Perfecto. He's just been caught by a stray bullet through the smoke. The rest of Na'Vi gather now for the commit. Util will probably force Cirk off, yeah? White screen, dabs. Oh, it's easy as that. Sprays down three. Call it 10 for EG. And Na'Vi, they were saving up their pennies for this round. Let's see if they can bite back and fight back before EG start pulling ahead too much. Would be wild, right? If EG pick up a scalp of a map, right? Let's not even start talking about the series just yet. Even a map against Na'Vi. Considering the circumstances, yeah. that's crazy. Like, when you think about the Fnatic circumstance, you think about the big circumstance, they pale in comparison to this one, right? Like, having your in-game leader take more time and then your coach, who's recently returned from being a Valorant pro, has to step in in short notice. Yeah. I mean, Complexity made it out of groups, dude. <laughs> That's true. You're right, they did with the whole standing situation as well. Your star player injured and then everybody else has to perform at a higher level. Well, and maybe also, Pro League's all about that. Bit of a follow-up question because we were talking about, you know, uh, Previous groups, like uh, in the bad news bears, like the way out, they were talking about how horrible and how, how difficult it is to 
compete against European Counter-Strike when you can only scrim Liquid if you're lucky once or twice. Mm -hmm. EG have been on in European source scrimming. That's how they've been tuning their game, right? I believe that the majority of them, especially those who had to travel overseas, uh, are in Katowice together. Yeah. It looks like Cirque's at home from the webcams. I'm not certain about that. But yeah, they, they've been getting their practice at least with DAPs in the team in Europe. Because I knew that that was hampering um, Bad News Bears. Yeah, a uh, that, that bit, little bit of a difference in, in resources obviously available there, right? So w in that Bad News Bears discussion as well, one of the things is when you're trying to qualify for these slots, there's only a certain amount of teams yeah. you could even play against, even if it's not EG or Liquid, right, for those slots. So even your practice just to maintain a high placing in your country becomes difficult to do. Oh, Symbol gets a little footstool for his way down as well. Keeping it quiet, and that's because they intend to pop. There's three you? here, you know. Oh, I think that incendiary just a second too late. Here they come. The entire Na'Vi wave starts to crash into the EG rocks, and it looks like Na'Vi have at least got the sight. Daps is a little late to the party. He has tagged up Electronic, but unfortunately gets away, and all these free fires will result in his death. Cirque gets nothing for it as well. Bit so deep in CT. The plant felt like an afterthought there, didn't it? They get it down so late. The round is already secured at this point, and yeah, okay, now 10-10. Now we're talking. Now, uh, reflecting the money situation is where we need to go next. And, well, because of the fantastic start for EG, they don't have any loss bonus to work with. So 1,400, this is an essential save right now from Breeze. You're going to have uh, enough money to get out the Circ AWP. That's not too many dramas right there. Oboe's going to have cash. Daps, yeah, he's going to be close. He's going to have enough for the M4. Might want to opt for an SMG if they want to try and get some map territory and have those quite forward banana stances that we've seen them do a few times because you can see they're just 4.1 for him and 4.3 for me. So one of the two might have to prioritize utility unless Breeze wants to hook them up with a drop. But late on that one, Na'Vi really just taking the pace out of it. Look at when they were planting. It was like, I mean, you said it was the... Across to Mihu. So Mihu's actually sitting with the most reserved cash here. Let's see, run boost again and... Well, oh, Cirque du Soleil, the tickets are sold out, apparently. Yeah, a bit slippy on the head. And another man dead. Perfecto walking in for his first frag, and actually, Na'Vi taking some liberties up mid. No contact, they just walk straight up. Breeze, oh, Shadow, 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 doesn't matter. He's caught with a pin pulled for oh, Go now, definitely just go now. Oh, well, we may as well call this 11. Well, this is the thing, right? They don't know that the bomb site is, is clear, but they should go in because Breeze is traditionally the anchor, right? So knowing that one of your biggest thorns in the side, the prickle of the A site is dead. That's a lovely feeling from Boomer. When you start hitting that jump key a bit more frequently, that's usually a sign of the times. Site feels a bit too free. Okay, so Symbol's given the orb to Perfecto here, as Bogdan's law states. Mm. And uh, now he's actually... Go for a hunt? Okay, Mihu. <laughs> Bullet through the smoke. Simple wondering what he did. Yeah, acting as a bit of a deterrent there, and they re-smoke half wall. So it's time for the game within the game, folks. It's a very punishing hunt. It's the... What's it called? What's the film you were talking about? The Purge? Yes, yes, okay, yes, Okay, so yes. today's the day. They're allowed off the leash. And they're looking to do a little extra damage on the way out. Boosted over the half wall. Some good suppressing util. Mihu does lose his M4. Dabs and Cirk holding on to what they can, and I think Na'Vi happy to draw the line there. Okay, well, this is just starting to really be tedious now for EG, right? They get the save, but now they have to discuss their financial situation, which is not fantastic. Should be an eco, or maybe just light investments behind these two saved guns, but they need to find Cirque an opening somehow, right? They need to manufacture one. You can throw the one-way smoke towards the top banana, try and flash and get him involved over there, and... He's actually just going to do it on his lonesome, so nobody to help assist Cirque for this. If he goes aggressive, this is all just on him, right? Right now, this is just Cirque's intuition. No flashes. Orb will be noted. So that information will be relayed to Boomich and Co. Now, if they want to go B, you hear the Orb shot, you, you have to keep that in mind with your execute. Now, if they think it's a fake, you know, and mm -hmm. Cirque's there just to shoot a bullet and then rotate quickly over towards A. These are the questions that Na'Vi need to answer. Yeah, I thought Boomich was looking towards Banana because he was going to try and hear if another shot, see if he can actually just go down as a bit of a canary in the coal mine. They would love to confirm that 
Cirque is still there. But this boosted Mihu position definitely is good for one at the bare minimum. Oh, but flashed off perfectly by Bit. Electronic collects himself an easy one. <laughs> Electronic and Bit both have 19 kills. They're back. Yeah, so yesterday they went, oh, we're, we're, it's a bit early for us. Today, they are here to rip heads apart. So is the Oboe P250, a little threatening. One by one, into the stack, and now the saved rifles remain. Good shot out of Cirque. Doesn't let Boomich slide through short, unscathed. Okay. Simple's opted to throw the bomb down for a bit to recover. Is that smoke it? Do you think that's it? That now they just go, we save? Like, if they kept an open circle, they kept taking shots. I know it's a two on three. They're talking about the boost. They're like, Bleh. yeah. Maybe not with no util. This is just the percentage Counter-Strike that you're having to play these days. As much as you want to try, right? The value's just not there. So, holding on to the AWP, holding on to the M4. Daps and Cirk going back to where they resided last round. He's got a pretty stacked AWP there. Look at the stickers on that Cirk AWP. What we got? I think it's what, Titan? Oh, he scoped it. Damn scope. you, Cirk. Un Unscope. There was a an... Titan on the scope, I think. We'll find out in a second. MC it, will probably zoom in. It's not or easy. Or maybe it's, it's, it's Jay. Pixely and... It's Mr. Raz. J Raz is in the server. Mr. Raz! Mr. Raz is in the server. Oh, I'm happy to hear he's pressing the ones and twos. I'd assumed I'd have assumed it was Rush Lee. No, Rush is, okay, sorry, I should have been more specific. Rush is with us, but Jay is his sidekick. Okay. Normally it's MC in MC the morning, the and then Jay takes over, and then Jakey comes on when Rush has had enough. Rush is kind of like the king of the the observer crew. Right. Yeah. Like he's the the head on Palumpa. Yeah, the head honcho. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. I also feel like Rush would love him, love a trip to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory as well. He would. That, that does sound like a good day trip. He'd have fun there. Yeah, why not? Still don't think he's ever been to the zoo. <laughs> so it has started to run away from EG, and this is actually a crucial round. So we will zip our lips and focus in on what could be a determining factor of how far Inferno goes for EG. Retake utility dropped, but at the same time, Navi throw their control utility. So if they confirm no one's sandbags, they've got top banana. Mission statement one is complete. Cirque's posted up on this line, but he will be triple peaked. They can wide swing, peak on the flash. It looks like there's a flash in the hands of at least two of them. Simple to deploy it. Counter util at the same time. Oh, he oh, just completely him. missed him. Oh, how's Boobich done that? He's hiding in plain oh. sight and he takes the sight as well. Boobich is fired up with that one. Just strolls on in. I, he, he's picked the blind spot somehow. I mean, that is truly like the perfect blind spot example. You know, like when there's that bicycle that's perfectly hidden in the truck's POV? That was Boomich. Boomich is the bicycle. Oof. Where's Boomich is the question. Where's Waldo? Where's Wally? Where's Daps? I reckon he's uh, not too long for this world, actually. Bit's got a bit of a bloodlust, and he suspects Pit's the, the right place to be looking. Oh, spotted out. Good shot. More to come. Yeah, they've constricted him now, so just slowly pushing through. Daps should be a bullet in the side of the head. Bit will do. The honors, and there you go. 13 now for Na'Vi. Also worth noting, Bit, his spacing there, he made sure he went as wide as possible so that if Daps does want to commit to that fight, he's a sitting duck for his Saps player. It's all those little details. I love me some Counter-Strike. This is the Boomage double in that blind spot, and then proceeds to just go ahead and just finish the round right there. Oh, dear. Yeah. You can see he really did feel pretty fired up after that one as he's bounding through construction. That makes any entry fragger happy. The fact that you like individually can just stroll into the site and take down all three of them, oh, that is a joy right there. But we're back underway. Simple has already been tagged on down, and oh, Boomich picking up where he left off. Been able to find another opening kill here as hot water being felt and hot feet as well. That one has been heard bit. His ears are perked on up. Kind of got them surrounded here, but not in the good way. Like, these pistols up close could rip ahead. <sighs> Never mind. So where do we land on the headshot machine discussion? Does it stay with Scream forever? 
I mean, I think half the reason it was funny was funny is because he couldn't say the H in headshot. That was like half yeah. the meme. Okay, I didn't I, know that was the funny Ed part. Shot, Ed shot. Okay. The French can't do the H. All right. So what do we what do we do with Bit? Because he's just very proficient as far as putting the Bullets crosshair on the head. Go. Yeah. He got the memo. You know, he, he's the first time Bit sat down to, to play Counter Strike. They told they, they said, oh, "Well, he, how do I win?" Yeah. Put the crosshair on the head. Yeah. And uh, you kill them much more efficiently when you just immediately click on the head. Yeah, especially yeah. with this one. You see this one here? It's called the AK. Yeah. You like this one. Wow. You see his little baby brother? This one's called the Deagle. Here we go. Sybil, what's your one tip for the Counter-Strike world? Your one tip on how to improve? Aim higher. Oh. Ah, OK. Well, it makes so much more sense now. And Oof, was, was put higher into the vice of Oboe's M4. Clamp shut. Man, advantage. EG need this. If they can't convert 4v5, I don't know how they hope to close this gap. Yeah, at least a little bit of resistance, right? The nades were good. The headshot better. They're still coming B, though, aren't they? I, I feel like they want to just keep cracking into this site. It's the right call to make as well. It's only Oboe and Mihu here, and Mihu's been having a screamer on the B defense. Nice find. And he's aware of electronic. Go on, Mihu. That's the hunt. It costs him his life. And careful now, because Simple's got Oboe's head in the scope. This site is lost. Cirque rotating in. It's a little half-hearted. They don't even have a kit, Chad. And Daps and Breeze are so far away. The kit's down. You can see it there on that pool position. It was Mihu that held it. They've got flashes for this retake, right? They should right? go for it, man. Yeah, they have to. You have to go for this one. You don't get many more opportunities like this. Go, go. Oh, Bo, dab some breeze from Banana. And that construction fight does not last long. Another headshot for Bit. Time getting a bit sensitive now. I would expect to see a frag in the EG camp soon. Oh, it feels like Zerk's already given up. Just keeping them caged on the bomb site is the best they can hope for, I suppose. And Simple Electronic on the retreat. They're actually heading straight into circuit as well to, I guess, make it costly. They've got 13 grand. For, they're nearly on max money. This is really cost Na'Vi nothing. EG, however, now have to find five in a row. Yeah, this is going to be really, really hard. That was one of their best opportunities. A man down retake scenario on the B bomb site. Just needed to get some way back in, but unable to scrap it together. And while well, they will invest, they will get the buy. Looking as good as they can. An MP9 for Robo, rifles for the rest. Breeze onto a Famish. You don't love to see it here. And well, five AK-47s out on the other side. Simple doesn't need the AWP. And Breeze is actually going forward on this apartment's position. Needs to be careful. Four, yeah. Aggressive maneuvers with an M4 sometimes feels gap just like there. you're hard done by. There is a gap, yeah, mine up. But doing it with a Fama, very brave. Yeah, well, the fact that Electronic and Bit are the two who are here as well, so they will demand respect in this apartment's position. Breeze not hanging around here to take the jewel, but Cirque is. Need more than one opening. I think they need two. Zerk sticking around on that line. That could catch him off guard, and it does. He clips the wings of Electronic, gets to live on. And that information relayed, you can see, look at the stack out of EG. This could be a horrible state of affairs had they committed to the B site, but seems like it's just util, a little bit of a fake. It's pulling Daps away from the A site. Obo as well. Seconds now. They're teasing him. Where yeah. are we going? It's going to be A, and it is only Cirk and Breeze on the site. Tight crossfire. Cirk needs to find something fast. Boomich has just gone straight past. Nice find. Oh, Obo with the SMG out of nowhere. Where long range, mid range doesn't matter. He says play on. Three from the. Shoot. He's holding long with an MP9. That's impact when you need it most. <sighs> nice stuff there from Obo. Just absolutely destroying Navi. And that was so, so late on this hit. Here it is again. 
coming through the smoke, emerging like the speed demon oh, he is, and just is... keeping it firing. <laughs> Honestly, that's the only way I see EG recovering that round, as they're all swarming the site. T perfectly timed smoke push, and a very, very quick triple. Like, by the time Na'Vi have said, push smoke, three people are dead. Yeah, that was just all down to the frags falling in Na'Vi's favor late, and denied. So here we go, back towards Banana. We saw this trick before. Oh, this nade. Not going to do as much as I thought. Still a little bit of softening going up here. Well, they'd need this and the next to break Na'Vi's money completely. And while they're winning rounds, Na'Vi's loss bonus is building on the other side, right? So as we get closer and closer to the potential 15-15 mark, Na'Vi are giving themselves more money to work with. Maybe a little bit of a quicker finish this time around. They have mid control. And they just need to decide where they want to finish here. Library Smoke landed, Daps to deal with it. Oh, that could cost him his life. And that's a small error that could be the beginning of the end. That's if Breeze doesn't stand to deliver a double out of there. Holding the app's position, he's even walking into the Perfecto hunt. That is enough of a double to at least keep it competitive. Electronica standoff with Cirque now relieves the pressure as well and peeking in at the perfect time. Oh, please. <laughs> that is quite the statement, 4K. Oh, unlike what I'm seeing from Breeze here, I know when I check the overall stat line for him so far in Pro League, it hasn't been fantastic. But like these are the moments, this is, this is the classic Breeze that you remember, right? When he was in the conversation for being one of the best North American players. Now he definitely dipped off, right? He definitely dipped off, but seeing him Laying pain down range like that is beautiful. And Na'Vi, well, they've gone all in. Right? They've shoved all those chips into the middle of the table. That loss bonus I was talking about, it's only going to be 2,400 in the next round, so they desperately need a plant. So they want to yeah, continue well, to be threatening. The majority have left that extra residual 13, 1,200, I guess, with the maths you've just outlined. That makes sense. Yeah. Boomich is the only one, right, who's not going to be in that conversation. But, but I'm you sure know he's, he's not shy. He's Mac 10, <laughs> yeah. you know? Or a Tech-9. Oh, okay, Mihu. You've been having a lot of trouble on this banana hold, and he swallowed a nade this time around as well. <sighs> They've been alternating in certain rounds, either having daps A or B, right? And that's kind of either freed Obo up to be locking down B or to be over towards A. So I, I guess this is a part of like trying to hide a weakness. Right, trying to put Daps in, in different positions here so they can't just target one bomb site. Oh, well, it is that B call, and I haven't seen a successful EGB defense in some time. It hinges on a, a smoke being respected. They're already in the site. Look how quick Boomich is. Oh, Boomich has done it again, and it's map winning. Map winning for sure. Simple plug suck out of the air before he can take another shot. And the rotation through CT held with a very deep angle from Simple's AWP. Avoids the flash. Gotta go for it, boys. What are you doing? Give it everything you got here. You got no other options. And an easy collection for Simple. Bides his time, playing for the win. And Boomich, he's just so aggressive. Finding that space when his team needed.